Hey, what's up, YouTube? It is Saturday, December 13th. This is, you're watching Proof Weight Law Surgery Works. I am Gary, the Bypass Man. Um, this week's topic. Uh, I'm afraid to be thin. How does a weight loss surgery patient deal with pushing past the comfort of the fat suit and, and past the, the fear of failing and getting used to the comfort of being uncomfortable. Well, for me, I guess uh, I'm afraid to be thin. What exactly are you uh, asking as a question as far as um, there's women out there that said, you know, hey, my husband likes big women and I'm afraid to be too thin and maybe he won't like me anymore. Is it that kind of thin or afraid to be too thin is uh, unhealthy, anorexic, uh, drawn in looking thin, you know? Uh, so I guess you got to ask yourself, which thin are you talking about? Um, everyone has different perceptions of what thin is, uh, you know? Do I look too thin to you? I don't know. I got a little, I got a gut that I want to get rid of. Um, my face is thin. Do I, do I feel like I'm too thin? No. Uh, so you got to ask, that's what I'm going to say. You got to ask yourself what, what you, your opinion of too thin is and, uh, why you having weight loss surgery. You know, you having weight loss surgery to be healthy. Well, being healthy is, is part of being thinner. You don't have to be thin as a rail to be healthy. You know, you can be a little he a little on the heavy side, but be a, a beast in the gym and work your body and, and, and take care of your body nutritionally, and uh, you can be very healthy. But anyway, that's, that's it on that. Um, how does a weight loss surgery patient deal with pushing past the comfort of the fat suit? Um, I personally have not had issue with that. I, I have not had emotional uh, things to deal with or depression or, or anxiety with, with weight loss, with weight in general. I mean, it, when I was at my heaviest, I was not depressed. I was just a happy-go-lucky guy, you know. the uh, I didn't gain the weight because of stress or or something that happened in my childhood or you know any of these emotional uh, things that could drive you to to gain weight um, I don't know I just I love to eat you put food in front of me I'll eat it <laughs> uh, so I don't have much problem pushing past the comfort of, of being fat uh, with new situations in life. I don't have a lot on these questions. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, anyway, the, the last one and, and uh, past the fear of failing. Um, I didn't have a fear of feeling, failing. When I set myself to do something, I just do it. I don't, failing is not an option, you know? When I decided I was going to have weight loss surgery, failing was not an option. I'm getting it, I'm going to follow the rules, and I'm going to do it. And that's what I did. I followed the rules to the T. Well, close to the T. I mean, uh, I ate what I was supposed to eat. I ate the portions I was supposed to eat. I stayed away from the, the, the fat. I stayed away from the sugar. I stopped drinking sodas. I, I stopped drinking before I was eating. I, was, I didn't drink while I was eating. Uh, I got my water in. I got my vitamins. Like you guys know, I was almost the perfect weight loss patient because I, I followed the rules to the T. And what this did for me was create habits to keep my success a success. Because I created all these habits, now 
I take my vitamins in the morning. I don't forget. It's just something I do. It's, it's, it's just a routine now. That's why I've said before over and over again, it's so important your first year to stick to all the rules because it creates habits that are going to stay with you for a lifetime and help you to be successful for the rest of your life. Um, so getting used to the, the comfort of being uncomfortable doesn't really apply to me. Uh, my deal with being uncomfortable just fine. I don't, not that I, not that I really feel uncomfortable, you know, I have no problem with new situations and meeting new people and, and I don't know. Well, I hope you got eh, something out of it, and I'm sorry I don't have better answers for some of these, but I try. Anyway, I hope you have a great week, night, day, whatever it is. Uh, stay tuned for another edition of Weight Loss Surgery Works tomorrow, and uh, I will see you next week. Take care.